Hey everyone, it's me, Brian Teacher. Today, we'll do the listen and match for the side-by-side -side number 10 picture. Please listen, match the picture, and write the number in the box. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Number one, she is a mom. She is sitting at the desk and writing a letter to her son. Her son's picture is on the desk. He is a handsome and happy boy. I think he is in university. Number two. The woman is in the bathroom. She is painting the wall yellow. She's holding the paint roller in her right hand. Nice color choice. It looks good, doesn't it? Number three. She is an office worker. She is sitting at her desk and looking through the papers. She is holding the papers in her hand. Number four. The man and the woman are talking. The man is asking the woman some questions. And he's writing her answers on a piece of paper. This is a job interview. Good luck. Number five. This man is doing laundry. He's washing his dirty clothes in the washing machine. He is holding a striped shirt. The shirt is red, orange, purple, and yellow. Number six. They are actresses. The actresses are on the stage. They are performing a play. One actress looks scared or tired. The other actress looks happy. She is helping her friend. Number seven. The man and the woman are cleaning their house. One man is outside and one woman is inside. They are spraying the window and washing the water with a towel. Number eight. Oh no, this man is not healthy. He is sick. He's going to the doctor's office to meet the doctor. Feel better. Number nine. She is a happy young lady. She's relaxing in the living room. She's sitting on the sofa and listening to music through her earphones. I wonder what is she listening to? Pop music? Jazz music? Rock and roll music? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Number 10. The man is working at his desk. He is typing on the keyboard at his computer. The man is not bored. He looks happy. I think he likes his job. Number 11. The young man is talking to his grandmother. They are chatting about life. The young man is sitting on the left and his grandmother is sitting on the right. He is in an armchair and she's in a rocking chair. He's a good grandson. Number 12. La 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 la. The woman is singing on the stage. She's holding the microphone in her left hand. She's standing in the spotlight. Wow, that dress looks beautiful, doesn't it? Number 13. He is a chef in the kitchen at a restaurant. He has a white hat, a white shirt, and a blue neck scarf, a handkerchief. I think he's a good chef. The food on the stove looks very delicious. Number 14. The two co-workers are talking about the woman's husband. The woman really loves her husband because he's a good man. He always talks about her nicely. He always brings her presents and flowers and chocolate. The husband and wife are a happy couple. Number 15. The grandparents and the grandchildren are talking on the phone. There's one grandson, 
one granddaughter, one grandfather, and one grandmother. They're saying hello. How are you doing? What did you do today? They're making small talk. Number 16. The two friends are sitting at the table in the library. They're studying for their big English test. The girl is writing notes on her paper. And the boy is reading from a book. Good job, students. Number 17. The teacher is standing behind her desk and in front of the blackboard. She's holding a piece of paper and a pointer. Maybe she is a math teacher because she has triangles on her dress. Maybe she likes shapes. Number 18. Uh-oh. This woman is visiting the dentist. But she doesn't look afraid. She doesn't look scared. She doesn't look worried, and she doesn't look nervous. She looks happy. Maybe she has nice, clean teeth. The dentist is checking her teeth with a mirror. Maybe she has no cavities. Number 19. The man is cooking dinner in the kitchen. His dinner menu is spaghetti with meatballs. Mmm, mmm. It looks good. It smells good. I wonder, will it taste good? And finally, number 20. The husband and wife are cleaning up their living room. Maybe they will have some friends come to visit. They want their living room to look nice. The man is vacuuming the floor and the woman is cleaning the dresser. They're going to have a nice looking living room. What a good couple. So helpful to one another. All right, that's it. We're all finished. Now that we're finished, please take a picture of your paper and send it to Brian teacher or Michelle teacher, and we'll give you some bonus points. And as always, thanks for listening, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.